Now let's go ahead and add CSS to our application as you saw from the demo application. So here I want us to go back to our text editor. So here what you're going to do here is that on the source folder here I'm going to create a CSS folder like that. And then inside that CSS folder I'm going to have navbar dot js like that and then here i'm going to give the stylings that are going to be associated with our navbar as we know our navbar as we already know how it is so one of the stylings i'm going to give here is things such as our background sorry so wondering why it doesn't recognize css this is dot css sorry about that this is um so this is background Yes, so background color, I'm going to have some uh, F8, F9, then FA, like that. Some other stylings I'm going to give for the, for the navbar is one rem. Then I'm also going to give this display flex. That means uh, for it to be displayed in an horizontal manner, then justify content. Uh, then I'm going to give a space around of the different items we have there. And then lastly, here I'm going to have a box a shadow of zero, two picks, four picks. Then this is going to be RGBA. And then for the red, I'm going to give zero. For green, I'm also going to give zero. And then blue here, I'm going to give this as zero. Then the alpha part, I'm going to give this one as 0 0.1, uh, like that. Now what we can do, okay, so let's just give this the, the, the entire stylings. So for the nav, the nav here, I can go ahead and give this, and go ahead and give it color of hashtag, and then this is 007. BFF and then text decoration is going to be it's going to be none and then here padding is going to be uh, so top uh, bottom is it top bottom top um yes top bottom is going to be 0 0.5 uh, rem and then one rem for this now we also have so that these are the anger tags of course so the a is just the anger tags and then here we have the nav nav when the person is hovering over the given uh, different links there so here we're going to have text uh, decoration and then this is going to be underlined when the person hovers over the given application so what we can do here within our navbar.js we can just locate for it so in our navbar.js what we're going to do here is that on the top here just after here we're going to import going to import the css so this should be slash css and then this is navbar dot css i believe it's able to discover it because this is on the source folder this is navbar.css yes so this is what we are going to have there and then other stylings that we are going to have here is um so we are also going to have for product list remember the product list is what we can see here so for the product list here we can also have the following uh, CSS here. So what you're going to do is that just on the same CSS folder here, I'm also going to come here and create this file here, and then I give it product uh, list like this, and then this is going to be dot CSS. So the product list here, we're going to start with the first thing here. Now here i'm going to give um before we do that before we give these classes or let me give the stylings and then i give the classes to the different uh, within our 
the component itself so so the first style in here we're going to have is product list and then title so product list title this one is going to have text uh, a line which is going to be center uh, margin top is going to be two rem and then here i'm also going to have margin button which is going to be two rem as well i'm also going to have a font size of 2.5 and five gram color is going to be hashtag then three three and then font family this is going to be it's going to be this one here and then here we can have uh, what else do we need to have so text transform is going to be uppercase and then let us press in it's going to be one pixel also going to have text shadow which is going to be two pixels two pixels and then four pixels rgba which is going to be sorry it's going to be zero it's going to be zero as well this will be zero and then for alpha this will be 0 0.2 so that is what we have there and then that is text shadow and then here we have uh we have padding we have padding bottom which is 0 0.5 rem we have background background color which is hashtag f8 f9 and then f air and then border radius is you're going to give this to five pixel and then box shadow here you're going to have is uh, zero four pixels eight pixel and then rgba is going to be it's going to be zero and then this is going to be zero again then the last part here this is going to be 0 0.1 like that and then here we have we have width it's going to be fit content so the width is just to make the content to be fit within our given application then here we have in left which is auto and then we have margin margin right which is also out auto basically means it will adjust to fit within our uh, given content so here we have that and then we can also have other stylings here such as the product list product card and so forth uh, so others i may just want to copy them and then explain them to you so as to save a time so the rest of the styles that you're going to have are these ones we are going to have um we're going to have the product card we're also going to have product card of course the h3 paragraph button group we're also going to have edit button delete button edit button and then delete button over just hovering over now the edit and also the delete button so we are going to have this one like that so when i come back to my product uh, list here js i can come here and add the different styling so we can start with um first one we can start with is to import this so import this is uh, within css and then here we're going to our product uh, list uh, dot css uh, like that and then we close this one that way now once we have that one we can now come and apply the different stylings within our given application so we had and most of these styles are going to be applied on the return statement here so here what we have here is we can within the h1 here we can add a class name and then this one will give it a product 
a list and then title like that so product list title let's see if this is going to be applied all right so this is what we have so this is what we have and then what else do we have so we also have uh, the next part here is on the before the product here that we have here uh, actually we need to have okay so here we need to have a div going to have a div here inside that div we are going to give it a class name and this will be product uh, list like that and then this one is going to be uh, this one is going to be so this div I take it out and then I'm going to have it here so here we should have two divs here so let's have another div here so this div is representing this product uh, class name here like this so sorry this so this div should not be there so what we need to have here is um because there is an issue with uh, so this is what we need to have we need to have this this part like this so the first part we need to have is that one and then the h1 of course and then the the div that we have added and then this closing sign we need to have it just after this uh, div here so where we have this div here we'll need to have this one here and then here we need to have this div and then this div and then here we need to have another div so so after that uh, so here after we have this div we also need to have another div here which is going to be on this part here so i'm going to have another div here and this div i'm going to call it button group uh, like this so this div uh, this div here is for wrapping the buttons for grouping so you're going to have it there and then the rest you're going to have them as they are so that is what we have there so far and if i run this you can see now what we have is this here okay so that is what we have um we also need to have another styling here where we have the link to and then of course the product id and so forth so just there we need to have a class name and then this class name is going to be edit and then btn because we already have the styling for this part here and when we check we can see that is the styling that we have for, for the edit button there so what else are we also missing so we also need to have where well, we have the button on click and so forth uh, so here we also need to have a class name as well this class name is going to be delete btn like this so you're also going to have that one there and of course this is now for deleting our given product we also gave for the product card here so we're also going to have a product card so where we have the product id there i'm going to have i'm going to add also a class name there and then here i'm going to have um the card like that so class name we're going to have the card like this so that we can have them in cards here now we are going to also to continue adding more stylings so as to make this one uh, work a bit better okay so um so let's continue styling the application let's go ahead and also style our form our forms so what i'm going to do here on the css here i'm going to have um on the CSS here, I'm going to have a file here, which is going to be form uh, dot CSS like that. And then these are the stylings that I'm going to have here. So we have form container, we have the form group, and then here we have the label for 
and then we have the input type for text email and password and then some stylings that we have already with padding border and then box sizing we're also going to have box sizing and then we have button type and then success message and then some uh, styling for responsiveness for so max width of this size then the form container is going to have a padding of one rm so you're going to have that one like that so that once we do that we can now go to the login so within our login here so i can save this one and then go to the login so here we'll just need to come here and import this so we're going to import this one and in this case since we have our login.js within our components so we're going to move to two folders uh, so this is going to be it's going to be this way so this is going to be then slash css slash form dot css and then this is going to be that way like that so we are getting it from the form the css and then the form dot css now once we do that we just know what you need to do next is that on our return from there you're going to have this so several items you're going to have there so where we have the return here the first div here we can add a class class name which is form container like that we're going to have so where we have the handle lo logic down there on the on the div we're going to have form group so we will have form group like that and so far we can see how we are doing so that means when we go to the login this is what now we get to have we can have form uh, as well we can also come here and also have form group like that and then we can also come here and check for the button type submit is going to be the way it is and i believe that one is is okay all right so that is for the so let's go to the register as well because the form.css is handling the two so on the register here we're also going to do something similar just like we did the login.js so here i'm going to going to import this one copy it and paste it here and we still have the same thing so on our return here what we can have here is let's start by defining a container so here class name and then here we have home container like that and then here we have the next part here we're going to have is we are also going to have for each other part here do we need to have so for the success message we also need to add some styling here so here we have this div here so on this div here we can add class name there and then the class name here will be success and then the message there so once the person is it's been logged in to the application so we can also come and check and we can see our register form is working as expected and that is uh, basically our application i don't know about the card so with uh, this card here as i'm noticing here we just need to to give them some styling so that the card appears somehow responsive and we can do it just beneath the and just just between where we have the product list title here so here i've also noticed we gave the product list but the styling here we did not uh, give it so for example here what we can have here is our product list and then here we can have display a uh, grid display grid let's just see and then here we have a grid template columns and then here we're going to set them to repeat so inside there we're going to have autofill 
with the main remember here you can apply your own styling so uh, so this one doesn't so this are just my stylings but as you see fit you can place your stylings here so here we want to say create as many columns as we want but they should fit at least 250 pixels wide that's what that's what we mean by this statement here and you can see now what we have is they are able to match themselves in that way so that down here we can have what we call gap this is one rem so this should be that way so you're going to give a gap of one rem like that and then here we're going to have a padding all of all around of one rem like that so this padding is going to be applied on the entire uh, grid itself and you can see now these are the cards they are going to be in this way so this is the format of the cards they're going to be this way and you can see even on the they are responsive when you see them on this so like this and this is how they are going to be all right guys so you can add your stylings if um you want to but if you have liked this tutorial please uh, comment like share this video and um, subscribe if you haven't and let me meet you in the next uh, video